Hey everyone, it's Ed from Ed's Junk and here is another Ed's Shop vlog. Uh, this is number two of my vlog series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how I customize an Xbook One S laptop. Uh, we're going to be doing just some vinyl customization on this for a client of mine. Uh, he plays, he's actually a hockey player and he's hoping maybe for a Canadian flag camouflage theme on this. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so my idea here is I want to add some type, like I said, uh, a Canadian flag with a, basically a red camo in, in it on the sides. Um, my client asked me, he's like, hey, I really like the Canadian flag, but I like it in a camouflage type color. Um, so that's what I'm going to go for. And how I'm going to do this, we're going to design this in Illustrator. I'm going to get a camouflage pattern, put it in there, and then use my vinyl plotter. And basically what a vinyl plotter is, it is a knife blade that drags on a big roll, a big sheet of vinyl, almost like a big piece of tape, it almost looks like, but it's different colors. And it uh, cuts out shapes, and then you pull off what you don't want, throw some transfer tape on it, and then put down what you do. This is the same way most car vinyls are made for, um, if you ever get like decals for cars or uh, different things like that, that's usually how they come. It comes on a piece of... Uh, transfer tape and you stick it on for what you want to put on then pull the transfer tape off and it leaves the vinyl sticker and that's what we're going to do today luckily I got my own vinyl plotter so let's get to designing what I want for this X book and then um, yeah we'll cut it out and uh, apply it All right, now we have cut all the vinyl out. We got the vinyl sheets here. What I have to do now is something called weeding. What weeding does is we're basically gonna remove all the vinyl that we don't need. Like I said, it just basically is like a razor blade that just kind of cuts out the shakes and you have to take away everything you don't want. So let's go ahead and get to that and cut the stuff out. Oh, sorry, pull the stuff out. All right, so now what we're gonna do is transfer the vinyl from the paper here. We're gonna use transfer tape, and this is what's gonna allow us to put it onto the Xbox. Um, I'm first gonna start off doing the multicolored one um, with the registration marks. Remember I mentioned those little uh, squares, the little three quarter inch diamonds basically are gonna be here and here. Um, we're gonna use these as res registration marks. So what we're gonna start off with um, is always the most top layer when we do this. So, let's get a piece of transfer tape. All right, so we got a sticky box, sticky tape here on one side. Um, I'm going to put this paper down like that, and then squeegee this on to the transfer tape. Okay. So we have is this. I'm going to go ahead and cut the access off. I'm going to leave a little bit on the top though for access as you'll see, excess, sorry, that you will see here shortly why I would have done that. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have the tape on here, so as you can see here, um, if I were to pull the tape off right now, it brings the vinyl with it. That's great if you're just doing a single color, but we need to put another color below this. So here's how we do that. I'm going to flip this upside down. I'm going to pull the tape, I'm sorry, the, tr the backing off, which is going to leave our vinyl on the tape. I'm then going to put the backing back on while exposing the diamonds, though. Oops. One second here. All right, there we go. So now the diamonds are exposed as good as they can be. Okay. Diamonds are exposed, as you can see here. The reason I do that is I'm going to put this piece down. And now my goal is to line up the diamonds. Let's do this carefully. I want to get them as close as possible, obviously. Uh, perfection is best. And if you're off a little bit up here, you will notice it for sure on your vinyl once you get it off. Okay. Since I'm all by myself, I'm going to get some tape and tape this down before I move it here. Okay. 
For now, I'm going to pull the transfer up while keeping the vinyl on it. All right, here we go. Let's get rid of that first backing. Now, when we lay this backing down, it will line up. What I'm going to do is I'm also squeegeeing from the to get any air, so we don't have any air bubbles. Let's keep going here. Oh, that was a good one. It's pretty, it's pretty accurate on that. Alrighty, I like that. That looks good. Let's cut this off so you can see what we got here. Now, as you can see now. Both colors are on there. There is our camouflage Canadian flag. Let's go ahead and transfer the, uh, the other ones on there. All right. Big maple leaf. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and put this on the Xbox. Here is a piece of the inside of the X-Buck. This is the one we'll start with. Um, I always give it a clean a little bit, a little bit of alcohol, not too much. Just enough to kind of get any oils that come off your fingers onto this acrylic. I'll tell you what, white hides it really well, black, awful. If any of you guys ever buy my black uh, systems, they, it loves to get fingerprints. All right, so, there we go. So it goes about like this. Um, this will be fun. I'm going to use transfer tape again. But right now I'm basically trying to line up the air vent. That's the one part that matters. Well, as long as that's lined up, we'll be good to go. So let's use some more tape. Put this on here. This is to hold it down to the desk while I transfer it to this. I tape down the I'm tape down the acrylic as well just to be safe. All right, let's pull this back. Then I'm going to actually have to cut the backing out of the way. All right, do that. Come in here, let's cut the backing out. All right. We are going to apply this. All right, guys, we got all the vinyl put on the X-Book. It's looking really good. I think Brent's going to really like it. Um, yet again, guys, this is just a re really cool uh, way that I can show you guys what I do every single day in my garage. That might not necessarily be really exciting, but for me, it kind of actually is. I really enjoy this. It was really cool in this video for you guys to be able to see how I take an idea that somebody gives me for their X-Book for a custom work. I put it in Illustrator, design it, throw it into the printer, and actually have physical things put them together and put it on the system to have a completed system. Um, that's just one of the many uh, different customized uh, X-Books I do. Sometimes it's laser cutting, sometimes it's engraving, sometimes it's CNC routing. It's always something different and that's why I enjoy about it. So yeah guys, you go watch the videos. Me, I got a puck drop. Looks like the game's getting ready to start. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw down. For the lightning. Sorry Brent, I'm a lightning fan. The playoffs the best time of year and we begin. A magnificent bad save. Save on a great chance. A quick developing play right in front. Almost looks like he's too close to.